Hey everybody, welcome back to Prison Architect Season 2 Alpha 25, however you wish to describe it. We... really? I haven't hired two doctors? These doctors are gonna, like, first off, I'm not trying to say that, you know, doctors will not enjoy doing, or not feel fulfilled doing what they're do, doing, but, uh, you know, if you're going to med school, you probably aren't aspiring to be a doctor in jail. Where, uh, or prison, I guess I should say, where it's fairly likely that something could go wrong and you could end up in a serious amount of, you know, physical danger. Plus, look at the size of this room, it's a freaking hallway. You went to, you know, medical school for eight years to be shoved into this hallway and you're not even gonna get any patients, in all likelihood. Um, just a couple of patients. Okay, let's look at our regime here. What time is it? 1 p.m. So I can at least alter the regime in the morning. And pray I do not alter it further. Typically, when they wake up, I want to give them shower. And then two hours of eating. I want to make sure they get three square meals a day. Uh, give them lock-up time in the morning, but... Uh, actually, I, I much prefer, especially because we've got normal prisoners, just giving them free time. And uh, then they would eat... Yeah, they could eat at one to two, I think that's fine. We give them like an hour of lock-up before... Uh, before they eat, then yard, lock up, free time, sure. Uh, I think the free time maybe will extend a little bit. And the reason we want to give them uh, this right now is because pretty soon we're going to be changing our regime again to make them work. By the way, we have 14 prisoners arriving soon, which is why I'm uh, not uh, allowing prisoners. Because if I allowed them, there would just be too many for us to have. Our grants are completed. Okay, this is good. What's next? Let's get um prison policy is coming next. Let's get the security. Security chief, we can have. Ten guards, patrols, three guards to patrol routes. Staff well being. Staff room, five guards with no assigned duties. That's an easy one. We can do that right away. Uh, prisoner acclimatization, three in the laundry, three in the kitchen cleaning, three in the cleaning cupboard. Okay, so we go security procedure first. Alright, so this will mean objects. We need another office for our security chief. So we'll put him in here, it'll be like filing cabinet, not toilet, you should just go to the bathroom. I mean, we don't have any of those, so you can just, you know, pee next to the electrical uh, power generator. Where the heck, I put filing cabinet, office desk, there we go. Office desk inevitably starts backwards relative to how I want it. And we'll put a staff door here, and rooms, office, like so. Perfect. It is big enough, just barely. And for all of the mistakes that I made with this, um, this uh, outlining of this prison, it's actually working out just fine for us right now. We got one room that we're not really doing anything special with. We can make this our cleaning cupboard, can't we? Rooms, cleaning cupboard, three by three. There we go. We don't need another office, I think. Minimum size three by three. That's yeah, that's handled. Um, we'll just put a regular door on that just to keep it good there. Okay, so we have to hire a security chief. Welcome. Ten guards, that's a lot. But we, we have to hire at least three right away. And that's gonna complete one grant for us. Three prisoners have serious complaints. Already with only eight prisoners? They need sleep and recreation. So they probably want me to put out, uh, like for example, some weights benches out here. And you know what? I think that is a uh, justifiable concern. Two. Oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're gonna reform these prisoners. They're all gonna get, um, you know, lucrative affiliate marketing deals for fitness products when they get out. What else do we have to do? Hire ten guards. Unlock patrols through bureaucracy. Before we got, uh, hire the guards, we'll unlock patrols. Uh, and the reason we will do that is so that we can, um, you know, not waste any unnecessary money. So one of the things I need to do uh, now that I didn't do before is uh, do shakedowns a lot more often. A lot more frequently, you could say. Did I give them... They have a common room. Yeah, the common room's fine. Uh, the reason I want to give them uh, more shakedowns is so that we can find more uh, more contraband and stuff like that. Are my metal detectors set up properly? I think they are, relatively. So our first day in our prison, you know, went pretty much as expected. Two prisoners have 
serious complaints. Well, you're gonna get some sleep, don't worry about it. Do our TVs have power? They totally do, yeah, okay. Totally do! Prisoners are totally fed. Well, you know what we can do is we could, because we can take in more prisoners, but we would have some in their holding cells still. So we'd have to have like beds in there or we would risk a riot. I say we just wait one more day and uh, what we will do is build a foundation out like this. And how big does it need to be? We don't need an outer wall, so we need like 12 down and then however many across. Plus whatever. Okay, so 12 down, this many across, and that will give us, uh, when it's built, and we'll be able to do that overnight, I think, that will give us another uh, eight prisoners that we can hold. So now we can, you can handle these days of kind of abnormal amounts of uh, intake. Day one's been fine. We're losing 100 bucks a day. That's kind of what you expect, honestly, uh, because we have way more staff just to get these grants completed. We're actually spending more money than we make so that we can get more money to keep expanding, which strikes me as something that could potentially become a terrible decision eventually. Um, trying to think of what else we should... Let's get uh, prison labor because that allows us to get another grant up pretty quickly. Are the prisoners all in their cells? I think they are, so we will take the opportunity to demolish this wall right here. That should build this out properly. And they shouldn't be able to escape. Thank God. Now, while they are all asleep, let's make sure that we've got our electrical situation handled properly here. And we'll also get plumbing done. So we'll just put one down through here, just in case. Um, Alright, so we want to build our cells out quickly. I'm going to do this while it's paused. One. Like that. Okay, this is fine. This is going to work out just fine, I think. Four cells. Are these big enough? Because I made that mistake on the last one. Yeah, they're, they're two by three. This is okay. Yeah, I'm just like trying to visualize this. Oh, we want one here. Okay. Uh, how are how are people going to get to these cells? Oh, there's a hallway down. Okay. Never mind. I was, I'm was i paranoid that I'm doing something terribly wrong, which is not the worst thing to be paranoid about because historically that has been kind of the case, right? So... And these cells are way too big. I remember that specifically. But there's a hallway down the middle, which is fine. We should really install like a solitary wing as well. Can I just not make these like this instead and then put solitary on the sides? These are going to be two by three. Yeah, okay, this is fine. A little weird because it's, it's going to be like a slightly asymmetrical prison situation. So I think I can put a wall here. We probably don't need it to go down all the way, but that's okay. And it'll be like this. And like this. Like this. Uh, yeah. Where will the solitary wings be? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Do we need a wall here then? Or these ones are going to be too big. No, no, they have a wall at the back. This one's too All of these are too small. What is wrong with me? This one should be built out like this, this is why. Okay, now I'm starting to visualize it. See, when you make one mistake in Prison Architect, it has the potential to compound pretty quickly. Let's get our pipes done uh, appropriately here. We'll put make sure these are all on the uh, uppermost wall. Probably need to go like large pipes down to here, maybe. And these will all be done on the uppermost wall. Toilets will be, I should say. And the pipes aren't leading to the uh, exits, which I think is pretty smart. Why does it look like these pipes don't actually connect into the the mainframe here? I guess because the those pipes aren't built yet. Okay, what else do we need? Hire 10 guards. I mean, we could get that done right away. Maybe we should just so we can take another grant. One, two, three, four, five. You know, we're losing a lot of money on a daily basis here. Assign three guards to patrol routes. Let's get that done. Um, patrols, okay. We'll have one patrol should definitely be like down here. One patrol should be down here. And maybe one patrol can be like this. You got a little bit less excitement there. There we go. Uh, five of our guards have been assigned to patrol routes, that's okay. 
Please don't box yourself in. That's like the only thing on the to-do list. They're pretty much boxed in except for the fact that they can still somehow walk over these walls. So we need to demolish this wall here. Our, our cell blocks are going to look a little wonky. The prisoners can't escape from here, I think. If they start walking out, we're going to know that we have a problem. But I think our workmen are going to be able to handle this okay. One thing we should do just to future-proof ourselves is uh, utilities, capacitor, uh, bish bash bosh, like that. Should handle it pretty well. And we'll make sure that... Uh, this will allow us to get our cell capacity... Oh, we need to get the 50 to hit the next grants. Prisoners are going to be waking up very soon. But it's just another day uh, Just another day on the workforce, basically. I think it's going to be pretty easy for us to uh, get this sorted out. Because we still have the same amount of prisoners. And we have one instigator, but, you know, good luck starting a riot. There's eight prisoners and, what, like, ten guards. It's like 1.2 guards per prisoner. That leaves us in a pretty good position, I'd say. Look at the... Look at the bullshit way that my prison is set up, or my cell is set up here because of the way that we've got this dumb hallway. I just want to see if they can actually get some of this stuff installed first because... I've planned this. Look at all these red X's, man. Failed five times. What do you mean there's no route? Oh, there's a wall here! Demolish this crap right here. We can, we can rebuild this cell, don't worry about it. It makes, it's dumb, but we can handle it. The red X's are slowly disappearing. I feel a little bit better about that. And again, this prison architect was on fucking, like, mescaline when he made this, but hey. I'm gonna put a wall here. Demolish this wall. And that should make this cell big enough to actually be a cell. It's gonna look real silly. But that's okay. We can't really get solitary going down here. And then we'll need a wall here. And that'll make a cell. A very strange cell, but a cell nonetheless. Okay. Uh, objects. Pipes are all installed. We need toilets. Toilets are all gonna be on back walls. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Costs about a thousand dollars per cell. Two, three. Four, but the prisoners pay for themselves in something like a week, so it's not so bad. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You know the deal. One, two, three, five. Gotcha. <laughs> One, two, three, four. And we're going to need jail doors, but we'll install those at the end. So, it is free time. What are our prisoners doing? Mostly hanging out inside of their cells, it seems like. No, uh, no visitors yet. People are getting fed just fine. And I'd say we've, uh, got a pretty good prison running here. With the exception being that, uh... Why is this pipe, like, not connected? You see? This is weird. Um, with the exception being that I've planned some stuff absolutely horribly. I guess they just gave up on some of those jobs. They should be able to complete them now. Yeah, that was, again, that was due to my kind of improper uh, prioritization of how to do these jobs, but that's okay. So we're losing $700 a day, but it doesn't matter, man, because we got those fat government grants. Thanks a lot, taxpayers. Much appreciated. Let's look at our grants. Uh, governmental security ratings? Nah, not yet. Acclimat acclimatization and uh, engagement will be something that we'll get going right away. Um, three prisoners in the kitchen, three in the cleaning cupboard, three in the laundry. We're going to need a laundry for that. We'll also get ready for uh, cell block B, which gives us a nice uh, advance. And we'll just try to avoid making the same mistake we made last time, which is that I found myself like financially insolvent pretty early. Oh, not there. And the reason is that I expanded like infrastructure without expanding prisoners. I think that's that's the reason I would give myself at least. Um, for, for why this happened, but, um, we're gonna have, like, uh, 32 prisoner capacity here, and we're not gonna need to fill that in order to start making money, so let's just make sure that we've got everything decked out appropriately here. And I think, like, in two days we'll do a shakedown. And we can expand something over here, maybe this is where we'll put, like, a classroom or something. These cells are not quite complete because they're not closed in. Uh, one of them doesn't have a bed yet. Oh, it does have a bed, we just can't see it because of fog of war. Alright. So we have uh, 30 prisoner capacity. Good. We can... T uh, what? Did one get released? 
One prisoners have been released. He's only been in prison for two days. Why transfer him if he's going to get out of prison in two freaking days? Um, we want to look at prisoners. Turn on uh, this on. Eight new prisoners arriving. And we can leave this on for a couple of days here. Okie dokie. What are our grants? Prisoners in the laundry, prisoners in the kitchen, prisoners in the cleaning cupboard. I should be researching maybe education right now. Uh, we don't really have uh, many prisoners that have like passed their their tests, right? Like we, we haven't done any programs at all. We should be able to uh, just have some people work in the cleaning cupboard at least. Yeah? Alright, so there's three in the cleaning cupboard. I, well, I made four work there. Uh, which also means that we should probably get our uh, our workplaces started here. So I'm thinking we'll build out like another foundation like this. And it'll go like that. And I think we should be able to put a laundry and a um, a classroom in here. Now I learned my lesson from the last uh, series season, I should say. We're not actually going to have. Uh, we're not going to take our grant for education, because it's bullshit. It takes a hundred years for the prisoners to actually pass the classes, which I'm not trying to insult them. It's just, uh, you know, there's no reason to have that grant early, I'd say. Classrooms, though, it does make sense to make them relatively big. I think we should make this so we actually have some solitary area here. So if we build it like this, we could have like one laundry, one classroom, and then... oh couple solitary confinement wings here and they don't need to be too big they, they just need to have a toilet really like solitary doesn't have any particular size I think no no minimum room room size so we'll, we'll make them one by two with uh, with a toilet in each one yeah that, that actually works out pretty much perfectly uh, and we'll do this 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 and this, and we'll put a toilet in each one. This gives us four solitary rooms, which should be enough for 32 prisoners. Uh, let's make sure our piping works out appropriately here. This solves a problem for us. Kill two birds. Oh, sorry, getting two birds stoned at once is what I meant to say. Uh, and uh, wait a minute. How are they going to get inside of this classroom, you big dummy? Well, I'll tell you how they're going to do it. We're going to clear out these walls. And instead of doing it like that, we're going to put a wall down the middle like this. And we're going to clear this out and this out. Okay. I think this will work out just fine. So we'll let that get built out. And we will want to have a workshop early as well. Uh, and I think, well, we have eight prisoners arriving tomorrow. They're all going to be normal. Normal security, at least. Allow me to install some lights outside just so we can see... Well, all the better to see you with, right? Because I don't like not being able to see into my yard at night. The lighting effects are, uh, you know, some of the most fun things in the game here. It's a, it's a good looking game. Silly, yes, it's got that particular introversion style to it. But hey, isn't that a lot better? I think it is. And now, in my opinion, we can take planning and just go like, you know, we don't need this anymore. We can just look at the fences. Okay. And again, we don't need this laundry to be set up immediately. Why are why are there not pipes being installed here? There's workmen just milling about. I don't like when you just mill about. Maybe they decided they can't do it? It's queued. Oh, maybe we're waiting for a delivery truck. Yeah, we were probably waiting for a delivery truck. Maybe. Um, we still have... You're doing a lot of milling. I can't help but notice. Well, that's fine. Let's let's get our laundry set up. Like, we have money right now. We might as well spend it if it helps us make more money in the future. Well, first off, let's put some, uh, let's put some trash bins here in our kitchen. And uh, we will look for laundry machines. Now, in, for a room to be a laundry room, we might as well deck it out early. We need laundry machine basket and ironing board. Ironing boards are really long, so we should put that down first. Yeah, put down like three of those. And then laundry machines, they all need to be wired up directly. They can't be rotated, which is ridiculous, but okay. I have no idea how we should, like, put these in here so that they can still be accessed. I put five of them in there. That's going to be expensive, but it should help keep them clean. And we'll put just, like, a row of laundry baskets at the back here. They're very cheap. 
And we'll just put a regular door. I don't know what kind of contraband you can get from the laundry room, but uh, this is fine, I think. Alright, eight new prisoners coming in. I'm, I'm ready, I think. Unless we have a backup of deliveries, which thankfully we don't. And I wonder if this will bring us back into profitability. So they're arriving in an hour. Let's hope we don't have too many troublemakers, although that would give us a chance to maybe, uh, you know, give some people special uh, attention here. They're arriving in 10 minutes, so let's just take care of our utilities. Uh, these need direct access to water and to electricity. So we'll just run those through the same tiles because that's probably not dangerous at all. Here we are. Eight new prisoners. Uh, we have some with some special reputation. Yeah, okay. Start with Tom Hawkins, 24 years, jeez. He's got a 58 year sentence. Oh my god. You're gonna be in here till you're, what, you're 36 more? 96 years old. Good god. All right, James Darley, two years for violent disorder. We don't know his reputation yet. Same to you, uh, two years for violent disorder. We don't know your reputation yet. Drake Apocalypse Johnson. This man has solely annihilated 20% of the human population of Earth during his time alive. Every time he's been executed throughout history, he has returned to commit more genocide. Jeez, man, that's pretty intense. Sentenced to four years for assaulting an officer. Seven years for robbery. Eleven years for trafficking, so he's stoical. This prisoner will not become suppressed when locked in solitary. He really doesn't care. So that is, uh, that's going to be a little trickier. I actually want to take a look at our prisoners again. Just to see if we've uh, learned anything more about their their reputation and their needs and stuff like that. Where are they right now? They're going to like shower. So this guy's an instigator. We already knew that. The way that you find out more about these prisoners, by the way, is by um, having confidential informants inside of your prison. Snitches, let's be honest. You don't put it in that word. Uh... A lot of people have an issue with the word snitch. I don't, but if uh, you can give me a good reason for it, then uh, I would uh, not use it in case it's especially offensive to certain people. I don't know, maybe you maybe you played Randall in uh, the early 2000s cartoon Recess. Oh! Oh, that guy didn't have contraband on him. Okay. So we should designate some of these rooms as solitary. I'm just wondering why you're not actually building the pipe smalls here. Solitary door. 500 bucks. I mean, they're expensive. It's okay, though. And rooms. Solitary. We'll have four of these. Just needs to have doors installed for them to actually be worthwhile. Three visitors are on site. This is good. Our laundry's not quite ready yet because we don't have the pipes installed. But our workmen continue to just sort of mill about. Can you explain to me what all this milling about is about? I would appreciate it if you, are they waiting for a, like a pipe delivery on this truck? Maybe there's been a, like an international pipe shortage thanks to the pipe cartel? I don't know. In any case, two of the solitary rooms at least work now. We're making $84 a day. That's not so good. So three prisoners in the laundry. I'm gonna put six in the laundry for now. And we're going to have to change our regime. What time is it anyway? 1 p.m. Yeah, we're going to change our regime in the morning so that they actually have a work period. So after uh, shower, eat, free time, they're actually going to have three hours of work. One, two, three. And then they'll eat again. Uh, and we'll give them a little bit more free time at night. So give them like very little lockup during the day. Lock them up a little bit before bed. Um, yeah, this will give them... Uh, a little bit less free time, but they'll actually start working now, which is a positive. And three prisoners to work in the kitchen. Unfortunately, I think it's maybe that our kitchen is too small. That we can only assign one person. Uh, but we can run a program. Like, we could run the kitchen safety program. Oh. Alright, and how many prisoners are arriving? Eight prisoners arriving at 8 a.m. Everybody's relatively happy, and we haven't even found any contraband, so... I don't think that there's a need for a shakedown yet, but I'm sure that soon we'll be interested in doing that. Uh, let's get going on uh, contraband, I guess. Clone tool is actually really useful as well. We'll queue up both of those. They'll get done in time here. Or maybe they get done at the same time, really? Because they're researched by different people. Oh, I get it. Uh, let's look into uh, tax relief. Saves. 1,500 taxes per 10,000 of daily profit. Look, the earlier we get this, probably the faster it pays for itself. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy it. 
I still do not yet understand why the pipes won't install. Let's try re-queuing them. Hoping that this will actually work out. Otherwise, we can just do like this. And uh, we'll let some time tick by here. Well, uh, excuse me. It's free time. That doesn't mean you can walk outside of the jail. But this jail door isn't closing. Because there's an object food waste. I'm going to need you to get that out of there. wonder if I put like a janitor down right here. If that'll take care of it. Our prison is filthy anyway. No, okay. Well, I think we'll, um, this might be a little buggy. We'll dump, or dismantle the jail door. And then we could actually just, like, reinstall the jail door here instead. I hope this doesn't cause, like, a huge bug in our prison. Hopefully the guards can still figure out what's up. Yeah, I don't want prisoners walking outside. That seems like a bad, uh, idea for me. So we've got a lot of things being researched right now. Money being spent. We're only making 50 bucks a day. Not so good. No prisoners in solitary. Everything's going relatively well so far, I would say. So we're going to um, probably end the episode here. It might be a little bit on the shorter side, but we'll uh, make some changes in the next episode. Three prisoners to work in the kitchen. Well, before we end it, just so I remember, let's make sure that we uh, make our kitchen safety and hygiene course actually work. And this will run from 10 to 12. That's fine. The more prisoners we get, the faster these will actually run. We don't have a workshop yet. We should probably get on that. And we can build our workshop, uh, probably want to build it up, up here maybe, like attached to the staff room. And this will be our classroom. Uh, actually, you know what, this is a pretty suitable workshop if you ask me. Maybe we'll build a workshop here on the next episode because it is relatively large. Like if we put uh, like a workshop saw in here, they won't rotate, man. That's silly. What about, does the press rotate? No. Carpenter's table doesn't rotate. Well, that's going to make it really hard. So this is going to be a classroom. Do any objects rotate? <laughs> if I put a class desk in here? Yeah, that rotates. All right. Uh, so we'll maybe make this a classroom in contrast to what I'd earlier said. And uh, we should build a storage room close to our workshop, I guess, as well. And ah, the workshop should face out so that we can put an exports area like right here. Okay. Got lots of good ideas. Thanks for watching the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, continue to show your support. Please click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.